Hey everyone, it is the end of the school day on Wednesday, March 29th. Staff is supposed to be here at 7.45 and I rolled in here at 7.40. It was not a good morning. I was so tired, I did not want to wake up. Overall, today was a really great day. Chorus is not a special. In our school, chorus is an elective. Any student in third, fourth, or fifth grade has, actually, I think it's second through fifth, has the opportunity to sign up to do chorus with our music teacher. Chorus is an elective, so they do miss class time. However, the majority of our students always sign up. Those students that don't sign up will come back to our classrooms and receive extra intervention time or catch up on classwork time or just doing centers and we can reinforce whatever skills they need to work on. So most of my students attend course and those that do not will stay back and play this game called Classwords. If you have not heard of the game Classwords, you need to get your hands on it. It comes in grades one through five, even higher, I think. I have grades two through five. And it's a great game to reinforce synonyms or just more ways to say another word. And it really builds their vocabulary. But every time my students go to chorus, those that hang back will always play this game. And it's just great to see their engagement and their joyfulness in learning. And they don't even realize that they're actually learning because I've seen them grow and use the words that are on the cards more than any other class that has ever used them. Another great thing that happened today, when our students get back from chorus, it's about 2.15. So from 2.15 to 2.30 is when I do my read aloud time. Right now, we're reading Ruby Lee and Me. If you have not read this novel to your students, get it. It is such a game changer. My students are completely engaged. They love me reading to them, and this story captured us so much today that I didn't even have them pack up until 2.35, almost 2.40. And dismissal is at 2.45. So we were rushing to get packed up at the end of school today. And it's just, I wasn't watching the time because I was so engrossed in our novel. And so were my students. They never asked what time it was or they never told me to pack up and they never raised their hands to tell me to pack up or say what time it was. So if you have not read Ruby Lee and Me, I really recommend this novel to your students. I have to go work our after school program right now, but later Ian and I are going to go to Annapolis and I'm going to get an Apple Watch. When I came back from dismissal, I impulsively bought an Apple Watch. They had one left at the Target in Annapolis, so we're going to go up the road tonight so that I can pick that up and he wants the burrow pizza. I cannot have pizza, Ian. I'm on a diet. Good morning. Today is Thursday, March 30th, and I cannot believe that it's already the end of March. I feel like last week or yesterday was New Year's. I am so baffled that it's already going to be April on Saturday. I'm so excited because last night I got my Apple Watch and I got it in the rose gold with pink band. Um, I love it because now I don't have my phone sitting out on my desk. I do have my phone sitting out on my desk because I use the timer on it. I use it for quick response if my smart board or if my laptop is set up doing something that I need to access the internet or I need to um, have it out just in case of an emergency. But having my Apple Watch and having the information that I need right here on my wrist I love and it's really keeping me accountable on my diet which I really I don't know when people say they're on a diet it's kind of just like a cliche I guess you could say but I am keeping track of my steps and my activity level it does tell me when to stand and when I need to be moving and I have it set to the highest calorie loss or whatever it's called the highest activity level so it's definitely reminding me like every 30 minutes that I need to be walking around the classroom which I think is a great reminder as teachers we need to be walking around and monitoring monitoring our students around in the classroom one of my pet peeves is when my students use my materials and don't put them back I am exhausted so overall, today was really great until I got to my mailbox at dismissal and found our class picture. Now I've put post-its over my students' pictures because I can't show them. But if you can see, I'm in the middle of talking in my picture. What makes you think that that is a good photo? And I'll be honest, my kids don't look that great either. 
not to be mean. I mean, it's a bad picture. It was a bad photo chosen as our class picture. I don't know why the photo company thought that it was acceptable to choose a photo where students' faces are literally like this. Or, or where I'm in the middle of talking. The photographer even said, one, two, three, cheese. And we all said cheese. We all smiled. I know it was a good photo. Also, the last student is up here. So what's with all this space when I'm over here? Like, it's just a poorly aligned photo. And I'm bitter. And I think I have a right to be bitter because even though I don't pay for these photos, this is the memory of my students. This is what I look at to remember what my students look like. And so I can remember, I don't always remember their names, but I can remember faces. And then I can remember their names and I put names to faces. And you know what? I'm kind of bitter because this is a memory for me. I, as a classroom teacher, keep my classroom photos forever. I, I hope to keep them forever. I don't want my students looking at a bad photo and remembering that's what they looked like. But that's what I'm gonna look at this photo and remember them. And I don't wanna do that. So what company thinks it's okay to choose a photo where literally every single student plus their teacher looks horrible? I don't know, but I'm kinda disappointed. Kinda disappointed. Good morning, today is Friday, March 31st, and I cannot believe that it's actually the last day of March. This month has flown by, this whole year has flown by. So today is the day before April Fool's, and my team teacher found a April Fool's test that we are going to be given. Um, the students follow the directions, and then at the very end, they're supposed to like not do any of it because they're supposed to read the directions first. And then the back of it is a word search where there's only four words in the entire word search. So the students spend time looking for words that are not even there. And I just find that hilarious. So I'm gonna give that to my students today. We also have to give them their last pretest for us to teach our standard next week. And then park is after spring break. So I'll give you guys an update when they go for planning because our schedule is a half day schedule today. So 